Next up, Hearts drew St Mirren at Tyne Castle, where we enjoyed Craig Beatty's first goal for the club in a four-goal thriller. Hart scored three of the four, yet the tie still went to a replay before we knew who would face Celtic in the semi-final. Two Hearts wins and a draw in the three league meetings between the teams so far this season. Jamie Hamill and a Lee Mayer own goal was the difference in September here at Tyne Castle. Then there was a goalless draw in Paisley, then in January, despite being hamstrung by the red card to Maria Salyukas and being 2-1 down Hearts are now 5-2 winner Salyukas and Sutton bookending a really scatter hat-trick and Hearts looking to start the match on the front foot immediately and they're doing just that Craig Patterson with me you know what it's like to win the cup yeah but you've got to get there first Liam and these games are so important and the start even more important try and get your game imposed on the opposition, play the opposition half, an early goal could be worth its weight in gold. Long throw from McGowan looking for Beatty headed away. Webster being clambered all over by Thompson, and then it's Zalukas, the heart skipper. To get here, Saints have needed replays to knock out Hamilton and Ross County. It was also a replay that took Hearts into the quarters. It's after extra time against St Johnston after being pushed all the way by junior side Ochenlech Talbot here in the fourth round. McGowan. Teal couldn't control. Submitted, of course, beat Hearts in the semi finals on their way to their last triumph in the competition in 1987. It was a John Robertson hat trick that beat St. Mirren in a replay the last time the sides met in the competition in 1992, both looking to win the William Hill Scottish Cup. and McLean going for the same ball, Black has found Beatty, who has found Elliot, who couldn't control, he was unlucky. Thompson, in McLean two. Much better area for a strike than they had a few moments ago when it was about 15 yards further back. Well, this is the one you can see, the goalkeepers worried everybody back for Hearts, every single maroon jersey back in that box, they know this is danger. So, Carey with the left or Teal with the right? Which will it be? It is Carey, it is 1-0! Danny Granger will take the corner. He's got a horrible Scottish Cup story to tell from his time at Gretna. Didn't play in the final against Hearts in 2006 because he played for Brechin on loan. Didn't realise he wasn't going to be able to play until the day before the game. He'll take the corner. In for Beatty! And on his debut, Craig Beatty hits Hearts level in the cup tie! Perfect header from the striker. I mentioned the centre backs. He's the other big player. You've got to mark him. You cannot allow him a free header. Good ball in. Decent run. Great header. Right in the bottom corner. You wonder about if there's a man on the post, he clears that, but take nothing away from Craig Beatty. Perfect header from a real good corner kick. One start, one goal for Craig Beatty. He impressed last week. He's impressed the home fans this week. He gets his Hearts career off and running. Zalukas, Ryan McGowan. Elliot made a run. Here's Elliot playing for offside, not given. Onside, says the assistant. Elliot back to Black. Black, oh, it's come right through. It has come in, but it's offside. It won't count. Ooh. Wow. Craig Beatty did so well to get this on target. Perfect striking play. Get in the end of a ball. Just hoping it might come your way. Is he offside when that struck? He's not offside. He's onside. It's a massive let off. Massive let off for St. Mirren. And it seems to get us back underway, and it's with Van Zanten to McGowan. Paul McGowan up against Danny Granger on this near side just now. We're going to play in Teal. That was, that was a foul by the former Scotland international Teal. Uh, just nicked uh, the trailing leg of Ian Black. It'll be interesting at the start of the second half to see who gains control of the game. St Mirren flew out the traps. They dominated the first half or certainly the early period. It'll be interesting to see if Hearts, having scored that equaliser, can do something similar in the second half or will St Mirren get back into that passing rhythm they had? 
How good was that from Stephen Elliott? Took it down well, he's back on the ball here. Elliott, beaten away by Samson. Still there though, Samson again, surely! Oh, what a chance! Elliott can't believe it. Yeah, it's strange how, you know, the, the pendulum has swung to and fro, and uh, it's still anybody's game. Driver. Beatty's peeling away on this near side. Scatchell, Elliot, Driver, all waiting in the middle, and it's Scatchell! The comeback is complete! And what a surprise, it's Rudy Scatchell! It's absolutely incredible, the record that this lad has against St Mirren. He tortures them, he continually scores against them, and I mentioned his shooting ability, didn't expect it to come in the aerial route, but right place at the right time, and if you get a quality ball into the box, which is from Craig Beatty, it's half a yard, and that is a brilliant header from the midfielder. No chance at all for the goalkeeper, right in the bottom corner, what a start for Hearts. What a signing, Craig Beatty's turning into for Hearts though, great ball in, it's not the cleanest of contacts from Rudy Scatchell, Hearts, their fans, Scatchell, the rest of the players won't care about that though. Perfect start to the second half for the home team and now St Mirren have got to show their mettle. Hasselbank, oh McGowan's made a good run the left hand side, here he goes, still he goes black once a free kick, is this a chance for St Mirren, this is the chance for them, it's Hasselbank, oh this is a real Opportunity, great save from McDonald, superb. Yeah. Oh, it has gone in. Oh, would you believe it? Nigel Hasselbank has leveled things up for St. Mirren. To St. Mirren fans who are making the noise as Stevie O'Reilly ends a pulsating cup tie, you have to say, here at Tynecastle.